win. He wants to bury you. He wants to humiliate you. He wants to prove to the whole world it was nothing but some kind of a freak the first time. What's going on everyone? My name is Jason. Welcome back to Backtrack Cinema. In this review, we'll be looking at Rocky 2. So pop some popcorn, get a drink, and let's talk Rocky 2. Rocky 2 was released in 1979, written and directed by Sylvester Stallone, and starring Sylvester Stallone, Talia Shire, Burgess Meredith, Carl Weathers, and Burt Young. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, and you're watching Backtrack Cinema. And before we get to the review of Rocky 2, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of Rocky 2. Do you like it? Don't you like it? Is it on the middle of the road for you? Anything you want to talk about Rocky 2, let's talk about it in those comments. A Rocky 2, guys, is a film that I absolutely loved ever since I was a little kid. I think it was the very first Rocky movie I ever watched, actually. I just remember sitting cross-legged in front of an old tube TV with the big yellow Rocky two scroll going across with the dun, 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 you know, with the, the main theme. And it's just one of these films that really made me fall in love with movies. It really is on that list. It's, it's so it means a lot to me, this movie. I really like how they continue this story. It's really about Rocky going in this struggle, this journey about finding out who he really is and what he's made of, what he's really made of. So this is going to be a fun one to talk about, guys. So as Rocky struggles in his family life after his bout with Apollo Creed, while the embarrassed champ insistently goads him to accept the challenge for a rematch. One thing I like about Rocky 2 is the way they start the film with the ending of Rocky 1. So we kind of get this reminder what happened, and we get we get ready for the movie. I, I think we, you get really excited again. And then we get see Rocky being and Apollo being taken to the hospital. So I really like that transition. And I like how they do that in every Rocky movie going forward where they kind of give you a, like a little recap. I always like that in franchises when, when they do that. I think it's a good, good idea. And like I said earlier, this movie is really about struggle. That is the one word I think of this movie. The journey, the struggle. And then that fight at the end means so much more because of this journey he goes on. So Rocky's decided to give up fighting. He went the distance with the champ. So he's pretty content at the beginning of this movie anyway. He's not going to fight no more. I promise he made to Adrian. And he gets married. Adrian gets pregnant. You know, he starts, but he starts spending all the money he got from that fight because he's never had it. And this is something I really kind of like seeing Rocky go through how he's never really had this taste of wealth before. And he's finally be able to buy things he wants. He buys a car he wants. He's buying stuff for Adrian, all this kind of stuff. His gig doesn't work out for him. He's going to do commercials, but it turns out, you know, he's, we know he's not an educated guy. He can't really read. He has a, you know, the way he talks and everything. And his whole, this whole commercial thing just falls right through. So this is how Stallone gets Rocky back into like the first movie. He's slowly reverting to being a bum again, but in his eyes, nobody else's eyes. In his eyes, he thinks he's going backwards. And meanwhile, we got Apollo. His pride has been stung and he keeps goading Rocky to fight him and to fight him again. But it's that promise he made to Adrian. Rocky's tried everything. Rocky worked in a meat shop. Rocky tried to get jobs everywhere. The movie really explores like you could get a job, but are you going to be really happy? Are you going to be the person you are, what makes you you. And Rocky is a fighter at heart. He may say he was a ham and agar. He may say, you know, he wasn't a good fighter, but that's what he does. That's what he is in his heart. That's what he is. And he realizes how much fighting is a part of his life and how much he really misses it and how much he really loved it. We did not need this sequel. We didn't need any Rocky sequel. It could have ended at Rocky 1. Rocky doesn't know how to do anything else. This is what he knows. And there's this one great character moment where... He decides that he's going to fight Apollo and Adrian doesn't want it. And he just says, you know, Adrian, I never asked you to stop being a woman. Do not ask me to stop being a man. As a man, he wants to provide for her. He wants to fight for her, even though she's not going to like it. I never asked you to stop being a woman, you know. I'm asking, please, don't ask me to stop being a man. Adrian falls into this coma and when she wakes up, you know, she tells Rocky, it's one of the greatest moments right before the training montage. It's like, it was one thing I want you to do for me, win. And from that point in the movie on, the movie is just on fire, man. It is on 
fire guys. But yeah, but that's like the story, the struggle. And I think Stallone, you know, I don't know if this was his first directed movie, but his first mo Rocky movie he directed. I thought he handled it well. He kind of played it safe a bit in he make it he made it feel like Rocky one with the way he directed it, but he, you know, very character driven still. I mean, they're all very character driven. And just following Rocky and Adrian and in, in this this journey, this struggle. Now it is a slow burn, guys. This movie is very much a slow burn. So if you didn't like Rocky One, you're probably not gonna like this much as one on the front half of it. This movie's very heavy on the back end. I mean, the back end of this movie is just pure awesome, and that's what really ups it for me ups it to like one of my favorite rocky movies and i really like how they show like when adrian is when adrian's not on rocky's side and when rocky doesn't have adrian at his back you see this where this this man is this man's just lost he just he just doesn't have the drive he doesn't have that that extra motivation that he really needs and there's a great moment with Polly where he goes now Polly goes about this all wrong he's like you're messing up that guy's head or tell him it's okay that he can fight and all that, you know, have his back. That's pretty much what he's telling him, but he he's very aggressive with her. But there's just so many really, really awesome, awesome character moments in this. Mickey and the church scene, you know, Mickey just blew up at Rocky before Adrian went into this coma. You know, say, you go back to the docks. I'm not training a bum no more, all that kind of stuff. And then when he, you know, this is where, this is where you really first see Mickey's real heart and his real love for adrian and rocky you know he says adrian's a good girl he's you know rocky's just he's just lost right now because adrian's in this coma and mickey tries to tell him you know kid you got a second shot i mean the performance in here is amazing by burgess meredith just amazing let's roll that clip right now we gotta watch this guys why don't you stand up and fight this guy hard like you've done before that was beautiful this guy just don't want to win you know he wants to Barry, he wants to humiliate you. He wants to prove to the whole world that it was nothing but some kind of a, a freak the first time out. Yeah, you know what I mean? What a great, great performance. Awesome performance. And so much iconic stuff in this, like with the, the training and the running. Like, the running scene in the training is almost just as iconic as the original movie because he's jumping over the park benches, but he's got like 800 kids local philadelphia kids following him along and the red bandana almost like a, he almost looks like ramble kind of with the red headband and i just i it's so iconic I, I still remember watching this as a little kid remember him jumping over the park benches and all the kids following him and the, the 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 city philadelphia just took this guy in took rocky in and they're He's got a whole city behind him, man. And this is fantastic. The fight is just awesome, guys. The fight is amazing. Stallone really had to up it. He has a, he got a bit much bigger budget here. He really had to up the fight. And it is a lot more. Um, it's quicker paced. It's more sens sensationalized, I guess. But what we get to see is Apollo Creed at his best. Like at his, at his best, best. He's out to kill. He's out to murder. And the first two rounds... Rocky just he's just hanging on man he's just hanging on but that end of that second round leading into the that great Bill Conti score I think it's called Conquest where Paul hits him the bell rings and he's like uh calls him a chump and all that and Stallone's just like well I'm standing here oh it just gets you it starts getting you chills man and then he's like tells Mick I ain't going down no more because he's already been knocked down twice right come on, come on get up. I'm standing there I ain't going down no more. Oh, and then, you know, they just do this great, you know, they cut it to the music, the fight. There's nice, there's nice um slow motion stuff that fits really well with the music. The aesthetic of everything and the colors, the yellow on black, I really like. There's smoke all in the background and everything and those nice shots and everything. A Sly keeps the suspense going right to the end because they both knock each other down at the end of the fight. And it's who gets up first wins. I mean, he put he built that suspense and put it there right to the end. And when Rocky wins, there's that great line that just ties everything up here, man. Remember, Adrian said, win. Win for me. No more. Win. No more ties. Win. You want to provide for me? You want to be the husband? You want to be the man? Win. He says, I want to say one thing to my wife at home. Yo, Adrian, I did it. Yeah, man, it just tears you right up. Now, like I said before, I won't say this. It's not perfect like Rocky is. I mean... There is some pacing there, like the front the, the front half of this movie. I think they could have got to things quicker 
And we see that in Rocky Three. We see how Stallone took his directing and he made a quicker movie, more accessible, but still has great character moments and a great fight in Rocky Three as well. But yeah, they could have got to things quicker. I think they're in the meat house a bit too long, like almost cutting all this stuff together, how he's working in the meat house. I think we could have got to things quicker. I think I think I wanted it. Looking back at this movie all these years, watching it so much, I think we could have used more Paul Creed showing what he's been going through, you know, how his pride has been stung, how he's he's losing his persona. He's losing his image and everything. Now he's really turning into the villain. He's setting himself up the villain. But I think we could have used a bit more Apollo Creed. Maybe he should have had a couple more fights to prove to the world that, that he's still the best and have him knock guys out in the first round and even give another person, a different fighter, a shot at the title. You know what I mean? Give a different person like a a club fighter or somebody who who's really not at his level just to show that what Rocky did I would like to see an Apollo in action at his best with so but knocking people out I think that would have been like looking back at it I don't know what do you guys think of that idea I'm not sure it's um if it's a good idea or not but I for some reason my mind just is is just going there and looking at uh there's a Polly scene I wish we would have got like I look at this movie and I see a little bit of a missed opportunity Polly comes in to see Adrian in the coma he's got flowers and rocky's sitting there so he just he puts the flowers on a stretcher or something in the hospital i would have really liked to see a scene of what that conversation would have been like polly pouring his heart to adrian because she's you know she's in a coma so she wouldn't hear anything he's saying and just seeing that conversation how that would have played out in the emotion i think would have been really good too i think that i look back at this movie now i just see a little bit of a missed opportunity there that would have added another character moment in this movie. This movie would just have been skyrocketed, man. <laughs> the music's great again, guys. Good old Rocky 2. I'll show off the little vinyl here. We got Redemption. That's an added track to when Rocky's being taken to the, the hospital. It's, it's a great track. I listen to it in my car all the time. But the one there's a cool song I like when uh, he's walking Adrian home after they get married. And the guys on the barrels are all singing. And he goes, and Rocky's like, oh, what she... Sing us something. I like that stuff. And it's called Two Kinds of Love, I think. Yes, Two Kinds of Love. Now, it's a bit faster on the record, but the way they do it in the movie, like, there are two kinds of love that you ought to know. There are two kinds of love. I love that track, man. That has so much soul. So much soul. And at the end, Fight Conquest. Great, great stuff. And you also get the classic Rocky stuff, too, by Bill Conti from the first movie. You get that classic triumphant music. But Rocky 2 is just excellent, guys. Absolutely excellent movie. So I'm going to give Rocky 2 a B plus. What about you guys, though? What do you think of Rocky 2? Do you like it? Don't you like it? Let me know in the comments below what you think of Rocky 2. We'll have a great discussion in those comments. And I'll post related content as always in here check out my other videos i appreciate it if you'd subscribe like the videos all that kind of stuff it really helps the channel out my name is jason you're watching backtrack cinema i will see you next time and i will see you in the movie cheers